to another Music Maker Guitar video. Uh, please like and subscribe and ring the bell and leave me a comment. And uh, visit me on my website if you want to do a more in-depth kind of a lesson, get more kind of theory. But uh, while we're here, let's do a fun tune. I've always loved the theme music for Thomas the Tank Engine. It's like one of those tunes that like, you just listen to it, it's like, it gets you. It just kind of gets you. So I figured let's go over the changes today because that's a really important part of the feeling of this one. And then um, maybe we'll even go into some melody. I don't know if we'll have time in this video today, but uh, if not today, we'll do a part two. So um, real quick, here's the changes. I'm going to put them up there so you can check them out. Please screenshot this. You can have it. All right, so this is a, a piece that's got some polytonality to it. I was talking a little bit about polytonal music last week, and uh, here we have like actual polytonal key centers going on and everything. So let's go right through these, and here's what's happening. We're like bridging the keys of C major and A flat major together, right? Like C major to flat six is A flat. So I think that's kind of a really important uh, thing because they kind of use that um, in the beginning of the chord progression. Just to, I think, I think the main key of doing that, I think something that uh, really makes this memorable, the fact that we're going to A flat and we actually use an A flat chord right smack dab in the beginning of the piece, even though it's kind of technically out of key, prepares us for us to be in the key of A flat later. So. That said, here's what we got. We got a C chord. I do all of these as bar chords so I can play the triad and also get a bass line because we want to play root and fifth as a bass line. So I do this C. That's fret three. This is a bar chord. So fret three and then five, five, five. So A string, fret three, and then D string, G, and B. Second, third, and fourth strings all get on the fifth fret. I, I bar those all one finger playing those on the bass. Don't really need the top note. Some people say to bar and get that as well. I don't think it's necessary. So we're getting root fifth. Then we get A flat, major bar chord. Four on the bottom. I'm barring this, and then the rest of them just go in place. So, fourth fret, sixth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, and then barring down. And again, I'm playing root, fifth. So, root, fifth. D minor 7, or D minor, I like just D minor as a triad, and then G, or G7. So that fingering is actually kind of the same fingering, kind of like a, if you do these cowboy chords like E major, and then you move everything down one string and you get A minor, it's kind of the same with these bar chords, so, like that. So I'm playing for D minor. Barring down the 5th fret, and I'm playing, I'm actually going to start with the D minor over A, because that's our bass note. So A is here, and I'm actually just barring, so it's 5th, 5th, 7th, 7th, 6th, 5th, and then again, there's the bar. But what I'm doing is I'm accenting the low note. So that's how I'm getting my bass line. So. Then we move keys. So um, the way I'm doing it again, it's fifth, fifth, seventh, seventh, sixth and then just everything else with my first finger. Then move down two frets, 
move these three fingers up one string. So now I have third, fifth, fifth, fourth, bar, bar. So we play that twice. So, so far, before we get our key change, we get this. Right? Then we get B flat minor. I like to play like B flat minor 7. So, like, take off the pinky. I'm just barring 6th fret all the way down. And then 8th fret on the A string my third finger. Then root fifth. That's your root fifth on the bottom. Then E7. If you know like this chord, C7, you can just kind of scooch it up to the sixth fret, fourth and sixth fret there. But if you don't know that, it's going to be six on the A string, five on the D string. Six again on the G, and four on the B. And then again, bass note move. So we get B flat minor seven, E flat minor, E flat seven, A flat bar chord. That's the same chord as this, just one fret higher. So four, six, six, five, bar, bar. So. First time we just end, there's a rest there and we play these notes, D flat and E flat. They're actually like the top of, of this chord. Repeat. It's a beautiful little change. It's actually just a little bit different. So when you get to the A, when you get back around. Then, technically, it just kind of holds on A. You can maybe take your pinky off, do A7. And then D flat. So all the way, we, we jump all the way up there. But, what I like to do, I like to do a little bass line movement. So. Like that. So, here's what that is. It's just a triad, spread triad, first inversion. I have these chords on my website, so go check them out. But, sixth, fourth, sixth. Then spreading up. So that bar chord, that same bar chord we were doing down here for G, for A flat. And then we start to walk down, okay? Now once again, that's six on the E string, fourth on the fourth string, D string, and sixth again on the G. Then walking up, one fret higher on everything, one higher on everything, and then we're there. Now, as we walk those down, it's going to be root fifth on the bottom again. Then C minor. For C minor, all you have to do is take off your middle finger and bar the third string there. B, minor, B flat minor. A flat. Walk up. Then B flat. C7. So that's 8, 10, 8, 9, bar, bar. So then F minor 7. All you need to do is move these two up one string. Then same trick on B flat. So that's the same chord, but 
we start from B flat instead of A flat. So six, six, eight, six, seven, six, six. Then low string, A, skip the A string, go to the D string, six, and then eight again on the G. And back to the A, oh, sorry, E flat seven that we were doing before. top it's a a b a form we just did two a sections and the b section then it just repeats now if you want on the g chord you can do that same trick if you wish i don't i try not to overdo it but it's nice to have repetitions in ideas because that gives you motif um and motivic development so um, anyways, I think that is all the time that we have today. We'll have to do a part two for the melody. So like and subscribe, ring the bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next, okay? Uh, I'm going to play my way out. Please, again, visit me at the website. Link's in the description.